We've got a special guest in the house, Chef. Good morning. Morning, everyone. Morning, everyone. Oh, it is so, so good to see you. And we're going to be making you. some magic. Yes. There so. is a classic mayonnaise that brings out the traditional French in three levels of tanginess. The mild classic, the medium classic, the strong classic. Tangy, the way you love it. Made with love by Clover. The truth is, and anyone will tell you this for free, that potatoes are magic. They really are. Any day of the week, and it's International Potato Day, and to celebrate, we're making cremel cheesy croquets. Delicious morsels of croquettes, rather. Uh, they are delicious morsels, and yes, many people will call them croquettes or croquets as well. Uh, melted cheese wrapped in a creamy potato blanket. And Chef Joy Mavi joins us in the kitchen to show us how it's done. Chef, welcome to Expresso once again. I get really excited because yeah. I love potatoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone loves potatoes. And most people do. Yeah. A lot of people do love potatoes. And today is International Potato Day. Can you believe it? That there's a whole day that's been set aside for us to celebrate <laughs> and commemorate potatoes. Sure. Um, and today we are making creamy, cheesy potato croquettes. Okay. So we will start with mixing our cheese. Great. How many different variations of pronunciations of croquettes have you heard? Have you heard Ooh. people call them? What, what, what weird, strange things have you heard people call them? <laughs> I've heard people call them uh, croquettes. croquettes. Cro croquettes. Or croquettes. croquettes. <laughs> yeah. oh, croquettes. Uh, um, egg yolks go in. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Great, so you've got your cheese going yeah, in there, that you've got your egg yolk. Egg yolks, yes. Okay. And then we've got our grated parmesan. Mm. Oh, I love it. Yeah. It sounds like a creamy, rich it in is. the cheese it factor, is. right? Is. Then we've got our chives here that will go in. We'll give some for garnish. Mm. Cream and chives, they go well chives together. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can't separate the two. Never. You really can't. Never. Those are best friends. No, but those are best friends. Yeah. You can't separate them. Honestly. Then we've got some salt. Okay. Pepper goes in. Mm. Not a lot. Sorry about that. And you seem like a very neat chef, you know, like you're going like right. nice and hey, pacing yourself right. with every bit of the ingredient that's going on there, which we've got on our website, expressoshow.com, if you want to make this recipe yourself. Now, sure. Clover Cremel is the only creamer with real milk powder for a creamier taste. You're going to be seeing how beautiful that's going to be looking. I'll tell you how tasty it is at the end of it. Now, other than tea or coffee, Clover Cremel can also be used in baking and cooking to bring out the rich and the creamy taste of many dishes, and that's why we love it so, so much. Mm -hmm. So here it is. Mm. Um, we're going to roll it into balls. Okay. okay. Oh, sorry. Not yet. Um, and then we'll mix our cremel. Yes, a I was going to say, <gasps> chef, Water. chef. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going. So you're getting like a cup of, uh, of the cremel going, sure. the clever cremel going in there. There you go. Fantastic. I love that it lasts so it lasts long forever. as well, the cremel, because the versatility of it, though, means that you can use it whether you're making tea, tea or coffee, custard, uh, also. baking, and all of that. And all you have to do, really, is add water to sort of bring the magic of it alive. And you'll see it all just come together. And Chef has mixed the water uh, with his clover cremel there. It's all going, going, going. Now, here's a fun fact. You can add a protein as your surprise ingredient, for example, like a bit of crispy bacon or chicken in this recipe recipe that we're making, even plain, these delightful creamy balls that you're going to be seeing come together now uh, of deep fried mash, they're going to make you everyone's favorite, but also they're going to be everybody's favorite themselves. Okay, so our cremel is going go there. there. Uh -huh. Careful not to add too much because your mixture might be wet. And okay, so you want to just gently just and slowly it. introduce. As we go. Yeah, okay. yeah, exactly like that. Uh -huh. Are you like big on like convenient meals? Because I, I mean, I know you're a chef, and so obviously you go the whole way, yeah, but yeah. sometimes you really just want to be able to get that quality dish without spending as much time. Yes, I am. Um, especially if you're working, busy. Yeah. Um, it's easy to get quick meals that are easy to just whip up yeah. and put together. Yeah, yeah. I, like that. yeah. I like that. I like that I'm not the only lazy person <laughs> out there who just prefers the convenience most of the time. I like that. Then what happens once you've sort of mixed it all together and it's incorporated? So you will roll it. You will see um, if it's too wet also, you can add flour to it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you don't want it to be too wet. Um, it will be uh, difficult to roll. Okay, so, I yeah. see. I see. Uh, the beautiful yeah, thing about this is really, like I said, the convenience and how quick it is for it to come together. So now we're rolling it into we're rolling, balls. Yes. Let's go. Balls, so please. Balls. 
Here we go. Okay, so I've already got my balls here, yeah. which I actually rolled before you before even arrived him. this sure. morning. I didn't actually do that myself, but I'm gonna get them. What do I need to do? Maybe take so the you steps to of what I need to do. So you need to this one into the egg, okay, and cool. then egg into that bread. So egg and then bread, uh, bread crumbs then from there. there we'll deep fry it. Okay, all right. So this is what the balls would look like That's after you've do. done, made them. Please There's be generous with this. Uh, this is really a, P, a PSA, public service announcement. Very, very important. Please, generosity is necessary when it comes to this recipe. Make as many as you can, because mm -hmm. I'll tell you this, they are going to be such a crowd pleaser that if you make too little, you're going to be finding yourself moving from potentially being everybody's favorite to everybody just like side eyeing you and wanting you <laughs> to have made more. Okay, cool. So that's going to be go. going into in our oven when it's all done. Uh, how long would you keep it in there for? I will keep we in the oven or? Yeah, in the oven. In the oven, three minutes. Three minutes. Three only. minutes in the, in the deep fryer. Mm -hmm. Oven will be five to seven minutes. So five to seven minutes in the oven and then the deep fryer would be about how long? Three to four minutes. Four minutes. You see, either way, either way, both alternatives, mm -hmm. uh, it'll come out very quick and uh, it'll come out looking really there good as go. well. As you can see there, that is our end okay. product. This is what they look like when they're all done. Look at that cheese. Coming out, it is a creamy, say it with me, extrava. Extrava ganza. Ganza. I love it. Okay, <laughs> let me taste it. I'll tell you now. Oh, splendid. Delicious. Splendid. Delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Listen, if you missed any of the steps, and very quick and easy steps at that, go on to uh, watch this video that we've prepared for you now. Mm. Made with love by Clover.